Bomb shack, oh yeah, the overland. Hashish trail to Cap and Dill, oh yeah. Istanbul, <laughs> 5,000 miles, 8,000 kilometers. I know this road by heart. Done it eight times, round trip. <laughs> Uh, and remember, Eddie too. I mean, he 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 he's done it once before, but in the opposite direction. Kathmandu to Istanbul. Now he's going Istanbul to Kathmandu. But look at he kind of knows what's ahead on the road. Important survival uh, advantage in this road, huh? Whew. East to West, it's, it's like uh, the most fabulous cross-pollinization of Eastern and Western energy since the Silk Road. Yeah, and he takes this long way to India. First fabulous stop, Istanbul, the shore of the Bosphorus. It separates Europe from Asia. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. and uh, every, every hippie must funnel through into Istanbul. Well, there's no way to get around it. Uh, after which, kind of like a, a stone genie. What about Aladdin's uh, lamp? Oh, the exotica of Asia begins. Huh? Yeah. Oh, well, many freight travelers. It's too strong out in Istanbul. Yeah, you know, give a couple of Turkish lira to a pharmacist. You want ampules of pure liquid morphine? Heroin. No, so many are too stoned out to make the crossing. A kind of a filter. Uh, you know, some could get across the river and many couldn't. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so the wild way uh, to get carry on was to hitchhike. I mean, maybe you didn't have any choice. You didn't have any money. You hitchhike. Okay. But the more fun way uh, to travel overland was to uh, travel with kindred spirits in a uh, freak bus or minivan. Like London, Kabul, 50, 50 pounds the whole way. Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, Eddie uh, travels across a Asia Minor by bus in about a week, and when he walks into Afghanistan, Oh, the true otherworldliness of Asia kicks in. Oh, Eddie writes a um, quote from his journal now. Uh, in Kandahar, I wake up, walk into a chai shop to score hashish. The proprietor steps from behind the, his samovar and motions me to follow him. Bending low, he opens a small opening in a back wall of his shop and into a room with a large water pipe. Yeah, he breaks off a chunk of the charas into the bowl on top of the water pipe and places burning coals directly on pure ashes. Takes a big hit and uh, passes the nozzle to uh, to me, and I take a hit. Pass it back to him. Oh, and after <laughs> after round three, I signal <laughs> I've had enough. Uh, I follow the proprietor back into his you know tea shop, and uh, he resumes his position, cross-legged behind the samovar. And, I look down into his stoned eyes. Mm. We nod in agreement. We're too out of it to even consider any kind of business. Uh, uh, I leave the shop giggling and almost fall on my face. Uh, I swagger toward <laughs> the street, toward the lights of it. Uh, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh. I was going to enter here, uh, Earthy, but Earthy's cautioning me against it. It's too much, uh, too much Earthman, not enough Eddie. So we'll just, it's in the book, but, uh, yeah. 